This video is going to be a quick tutorial on some of the feedback we've heard from our customers. Um, we listen to you, we read every single one of your comments, and so today we're going to talk about negligent discharges in our uh, Glock 17. This is a full size, now it's been safety checked of course. So we're gonna go through uh, some of the best methods that you can take uh, to prevent any type of negligent discharge and uh, the best ways that the retention strap can uh, help avoid that along with the um, double layer of 1000D Cordura um, that's provided. So the first thing you're gonna do when you get your uh, brand new Vanish holster out of the box um, is you're gonna wanna take your firearm and basically just do kind of a quick measure, measure up, right? So put your firearm in your holster and basically you're gonna take a look and see, okay, well, this uh, full-size Glock 17 uh, Gen 5 is, trigger group's gonna be about right here, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back out my firearm and uh, I'm gonna take my index finger and just kind of run my finger down here along the retention strap, uh, making it easy for me to remove it. And I'm going to place it in over that area where the trigger group was. So in order to do that, um, I'm just gonna take both hands, kind of line it up. Hope you can get that on camera. And basically just press it up against the adhesive. And that looks about right. So I'm gonna take my firearm back, double check to make sure that it is covering the trigger group. And uh, as you can see, my trigger group is basically right here. And it uh, looks like it's covering it perfectly. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my retention straps are doing exactly that. They're gonna be retaining the firearm. Um, so, perfect. Um, I've got a nice tight uh, grip around uh, my pistol grip. And uh, as you'll notice, there is a little bit uh, coming out here at the bottom. Uh, what I recommend to do is basically just cut it off with some scissors, uh, maybe take a little lighter and just kind of burn it and you can get rid of that. Um, or, you know, if you want to carry other pistols in here, then definitely you're going to want to leave that in there uh, just in case uh, you have some other pistols that you run uh, that you want to carry into the holster. Uh, so this is what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. And uh, yeah, you should have a very easy, removable firearm. Um, yeah, 